I have a new sign. And for everybody that comments, likes, and shares, your name will be put in the drawing to win my newest sign. This is Get Your Sparkle Back. Return to Snowshoe Mountain this winter. I don't know about you, but I I love the vintage ads. And this was this came out a long time ago. So I decided I was gonna use these snowshoes that I purchased. And I will put the link in when I'm done on this wreath and then put the sign over here on the side. So, let's get started. I also made some handmade birch bark picks, and I think I'm going to be listing this fabric online, so if anybody wants to make their own, they can. These were just made with styrofoam balls. I also purchased those plastic balls. I don't know if you've seen them from, oh, they used to have the, I'll get them. I don't know if you've priced styrofoam lately, but styrofoam is very expensive. So these are those old balls that have the um, thread wrapped around them. I took off the thread, made a bigger hole, and went ahead and made these. So yes, it is. So we're going to get started. Now I want to put some fresh looking pine on this wreath. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead with these two. I may just go ahead and leave these pine cones on there because they're kind of like frosted in color. So, so let me take off the tags. These I got at Sims, and I'm running out. I think I'm going to have to order some more. But I want this to look like it's in the woods. We also went ahead, the first edition didn't have the mountain in it, but the second edition we added the mountain. Hello, Jean. Then I have the matching garden flag that I'll be listing on Etsy too. Because this is something that isn't necessarily Christmas, even though it has your red and, and green on it, but it can also go as winter because of the snowshoes. So let's go ahead. I kind of want to dry fit these first to see how I can mount my snowshoes on here. Now, when making a wreath with these snowshoes, you have to take into account that the snowshoes, they're like $35 a piece. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Linda. Yes, I will post a link when I'm done um, because I forgot to get the link ahead of time. So I will post them, but again, they're, they're like $35. Um, but what you can do is when you're using an item in your wreath, that's really expensive. You can cut down what you're putting in there. Like you could, and I'm probably going to do this tomorrow, either record it or on a live. You could just put these like this with a piece of styrofoam in here, make a little arrangement on there with a bow and boom, you can charge like $50 for it and recoup what you put into this. So I'm not going to put a whole lot into this wreath because of the fact that, you know, um, 
you know, I have to get my money back out of it with the snowshoes. So, because these are really full, I'm going to cut some of them down because I want to spread it out more and get it to lay flatter so I can put the snowshoes on top of it. So it looks like they're hanging. Why are you saying Levon too? Is she on? Is she with you? Is that what you guys are doing, visiting? Well, that's cool if you are. I have a, a sad story. I have the most beautiful fox laying dead out in my front yard. This fox, its tail is absolutely gorgeous. It, it's, it's killing me because what a beautiful animal. Even though I don't want it in my yard around the chickens and such, it, it is just beautiful. And to realize it, been, it had been killed, so sad. Now see what I'm doing with this. I've taken most of the, uh, um, the pick and laid it down and then put the other piece up here because that's going to give me coverage here and still allow me to put those snowshoes on top of it. Hi, Evelyn. Welcome. So let me break this down a little. What, should, what did you order? What are you having? I hope it's good. If Levon's eating, it's good. That's awesome. That you two can get together. See, then this will allow coverage in here. See? All right, let's go ahead and glue this. And then we have to figure out where we're going to put our birch picks. I actually printed the fabric myself. <gasps> oh, that sounds good, Peggy. can come out over here and let's go ahead and glue this one I'm going to shorten it a little that you're out and about, that means you're getting around pretty good, I assume, Peggy. Okay, I glued that one already. Now let's go ahead and glue this one after we get rid of some of this. Do you all like the vintage signs? I'm actually going to put some more going this way and this way because I want it to lay on that like it's laying on a bed of pine. The green will actually bring out the color, too. I'm 
Me too. Vintage is my favorite. I have a few vintage signs in my shop, but this one really caught my eye yesterday when I was looking for signs. I look for ideas, and this was actually on a magazine cover at one time, and boy, it was beautiful. And I'm like, I have to figure out a way to use that. Right, Evelyn? Just so simple and fun. And, it, and I don't know if you can see it, but we're able to even get the sparkle in the eye. I don't know if you can see it in her eye. And the ads were so simple back then, you know? Not like today. see where we're going to put these. I think that one can go there. I thought they would add a nice contrast to it. Make it look woodsy, which is the look I was trying to go for. I think I achieved it. Got a thing in the way here. There we go. Yes, they were. Okay, this is not going to go here because that's going to interfere with this. So, let me just turn this around. I might have to stick some of this in here, close up that gap. Again, I'm just kind of dry fitting so I can see where the placement of everything's going to go. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you came, Susan. here. I'll be able to rip this part. All right, now let's see. I could make it go that way. Let me, if I do it that way, let me make sure it's not going to interfere with the sign. And hmm. that's what I'll do. I'll get just a small amount of greenery right there so I can kind of disguise the hole where the sign's going to go. Then this, I think, will give me room in there to put that. And then I can bring this down a little closer into here. That'll work. 
but I may want to put a bow down here too. So I'll get that kind of going on that side. Then I have my triangle still, which is what I'm trying to achieve by doing that. And uh, all right, I think I like where I'm going with this. So let's finish gluing what hasn't been glued. And then we're off to the races. I went ahead and I bought some, I don't know if you saw, but Michael's has their ribbon on sale, their Christmas ribbon, 30% off. And then one of my um, hardworking mom friends told me that we get a discount for being a senior. So I signed up online and I got a discount on top of that too. So I like that. There you go. Thanks, Evelyn. And remember, for those loving, liking, commenting, and sharing, you're in the contest. I'm giving away one of these signs today. By tonight, I'm going to draw a name. So, you might win. That was up here, wasn't it? <laughs> that was over here. Right? Yes. Stuck around my homemade ball. I'm thinking right there is good. And then I'll just tie it down through there using this. Thank you, Evelyn. I know, right? I didn't even know they had one. They don't tell you that when you go in the store. So I was really grateful. And then tomorrow I'll use the other pair and we'll do a small um, arrangement with the other pair of snowshoes. That's it. You need to indicate you sprinkled. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm thinking I can go down through here, but you know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to glue them first, hot glue them to each other. To me, ow, ow, ow. That sucker seeped through. <sighs> they're pretty lightweight too, so they're they'll go nice on here. It's just I couldn't find them anywhere under $35, so, but I could see this at a cabin, at a lodge, anywhere, any rustic, over the fireplace. Okay, this pine cone is in the way, so we're going to clip it and find another home for it. There we go. 
flatten that out a little. There. Now, where did my rope go? There it is. All right, so. And then I'll be posting the sign with the, um, you can buy it with or without the garden flag. I thought, would this be pretty in a, on an entrance, an entrance to your home, and then have the garden flag outside to match? I just think that would be so pretty. And everybody uses like the buffalo check balls. So I wanted to do something a little different. All right. So there, I kind of have it there. So I'm going to tie it. It's kind of like a leather roping. So I think it's going to hold up pretty good. And it kind of stretches a little. So I'm going to also put a dab of glue there kind of give it some stability. So I'm going to hold it for a minute. Aw, thanks, Nanny Dot. I, I was even looking at some antique ones. You can find some antique ones on eBay, Etsy, but the price of those were so expensive too. So... So now I'm going to put this right down through here. I'm going to turn it over gently and tie it tight. And put a little spot of glue on there too so it stays in place in a few places, just as a precaution. There we go. I added just some greenery to this with a little stick that has some snowflakes on it. I like that. Let's move our little pine cone around here. All right, let's get our other birch ball. Let's go right here with that. Yay, awesome. There we go. So we've got two birch balls and we're going to put a third down here. So then we have our triangle. <gasps> Ooh, this will be for sale. It'll be hard to let this one go. Sometimes I put so much creativity in them. I have a hard time selling them. But when you keep paying for supplies, you can't keep holding on to every one you make. So, thank you, Susan. I don't know, would, you know, I, I thought it might not be a bad idea to sell the fabric pre-printed already. Because I'm sure some of you would like to make your own birch balls. So I think maybe selling them already printed up wouldn't be much to uh, ship and then if you found if you don't have styrofoam and it needs to really be this the smooth styrofoam like the hard smooth styrofoam if you use the other styrofoam this can get messy so this works better or, like I showed you earlier, um, these balls I bought from the thrift store 
and then I just clean them up and I remove the gold threading and use those because they're cheaper than styrofoam. Styrofoam is very expensive right now. So, would you? Awesome! Easy to ship. You can make your own balls. And I did show the other day when I made my wreath how to make the um, buffalo check balls. <laughs> See? <laughs> I hear ya. I know what you mean. Alright, so let's put some holes in this. I just love this sign. Is my girl from Bulgaria on? Where's Zornitsa? Did she pop on? Maybe not. Yeah, the birch ribbon was on sale at, at AC Moore. So I'm afraid to put it up here, like the ribbon, because I'm afraid it would take away from this. So I don't know. I bought this. This is similar to the one that I love, my uh, pine cone ribbon. And then I found this. I thought this was really pretty. And this was a bigger roll. Yes, you're right. Oh, I also bought this. I love this. And I love that. And then Kayla is requesting um, a nutcracker. So I had to buy that. But this is going to be a next week project. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do with it. So keep watching. That should be fun. All right, let's get our sign on here. Now, I think I will use, I think I'm going to use this wire. It's rusty looking. And I think it'll blend really good with this. And won't show. And the sign does look vintage. It does look rusted. So. Or maybe I won't even use the that ribbon maybe just a small one in the middle I thought this was pretty too this has pine trees and reindeer and snowflakes it almost looks like a sweater or we'll put the bow right here we'll try and see how we do. Oh, and for those of you that I got my Missy balls today. Missy made these balls for me and then I made a snowman for her. So I'm in the process of making a gnome that matches these balls. So we got a lot coming up. So you don't want to miss out. This rib, this uh, wire really blends in with the sign and the grapevine. It's pretty sturdy too, so it's going through here pretty good. I just hit a snag right now. There we go. I 
And you know I'm always open to ideas if anybody has a sign idea that they want to use. I'm telling you, there are not many signs out there for snowshoes. I looked. That's why I went ahead and made this one. Okay, there's what we have so far. So, what do you say we put a little bow right here and see how that goes? We could put a little one there too, but I kind of like these two. And I think I'm gonna put this red on the bottom and go with those two. And then maybe this on top. Um, if you look, Joanne, in the comments, there's a link to my Etsy store. It's Robin's, I think Robin's resupplies and stitches. Because I sew for dogs too. Maybe we'll just use this and this, and we'll see what else we can get into. You're so welcome. I'm going to try something different with this. I'm going to actually put these two together. Actually, I'm going to add this green in here because her hat is green. Her jacket is like a red and white striped. Now this one it's going to be a mess because it's on here, not the direction I want to go in. So I'm going to go the other way with it. I wanted to make this look vintage, like the sign. See how it looks. This is going to be a feat just making sure that it all stays together. not look the way I want it and I may end up taking it apart anyhow but we won't know until we try right A zip tie. We'll get some tinsel tie. Actually, could go ahead and use this wire again because it really disguised itself. So let's put that through. Okay. 
I do have these two that I could put in here, but I'm not liking that. So, not liking those either. Maybe some berries. I know I use these a lot, but it's just going to give me that little pop of red. And these are the non styrofoam ones. So if these get wet, they will not pop open and the paint won't pop off. So we'll put some of those in there too. <laughs> There's actually four in here. Go back and look at some of my um, my videos. Like, see, that probably wouldn't be bad in there. Maybe more towards the bottom of the handles. So I see more of the, um, you know, so I still see the snowshoe. So maybe that's the place to put it. We'll try it. Um, I've used the, I use the Bodabra a lot. I use the Probo the Hand sometimes, so that's an option. Um, I also, there's also one of my videos where we did a super, super easy bow using just, I think it was three colors and four of each one. And you just layer them one on top of the other, on top of the other, and then at the end you it, it's really simple. Go back. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go back and check it out. Um, I can't remember the name of that bow. It's kind of like, was it like the funky bow? But it was the bestie bow. This one lady does it and she makes it and she calls it the bestie bow. So go check out that video. If you have trouble, that everybody that watched that um that live when i did it said that was the easiest bow they had ever seen so check it out you won't have any trouble making a bow with that that method it's very easy and there is a link to my youtube channel This is a lot of the reason why I don't use wire that often. <laughs> I use the tinsel ties, but on grapevines, sometimes the tinsel ties can be a challenge. So sometimes it's easier to use wire. All right, let's try it. So basically, what I'm going to do is just pull them apart. I'm going to spread them around. But we want to kind of change the pattern a little bit. You don't want the same each time. So I have four colors here, all the same size, and four loops together. And it may not be where I want it, so I may end up moving it. We'll see. It's not too bad where it is. Now, if my animals are not facing the right way that I want them to face, then I'm just going to twist to get them going in the direction that I feel they need to go. That's just a matter of twisting. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah. Hi, Joanne. There's Z. Everybody has to congratulate Zornitsa on her 7,000 sales on Etsy. I am so proud of her. She has done an awesome, awesome job for me and several other people. And we just love her. So make sure you tell her congratulations. She's my bestie. And her creativity has helped me so much. And one of these days, she's going to come to the States and we're going to meet. Right, Z? Oh, 61? Why did it say 7,000? Sorry. That's still an accomplishment. I don't care. That's still awesome. And I'm still very proud of you. Yep. She is a keeper. We just love her. Okay, that ended up the wrong direction. So, out of that ribbon, I'm just going to tuck it up in there and make a loop. If I was paying attention, I would have placed that on afterwards. Okay, there's what we have so far. Do you think that is good there, or should I move it to here? So Ernita makes designs for printing, and she has helped me so many times, bailed me out. <laughs> but she's awesome. What do you think? Put it over here or leave it where it is? What's your thoughts? You like it there? I think we need some berries, definitely, just to spruce up a little bit of this. And, I don't know, maybe this down in here a little bit. Let me look. Nope, that looks too fake. Um... Let me see. <laughs> nope. I'm thinking this needs to go in here. Just bring it to the edge of the sign like that. I could put our leftover pine cone there. Thank you. See, that's what, that's what I was afraid of. See, Zornitsa feels the same way I thought I was going to feel when I put it here, that we were hiding this. So, maybe what we'll do, all right, this is what we'll do. We'll move the bow to here, okay? 
But then, I think we could take a red ribbon and just put a little bow right here because it just needs something right there, but it doesn't need all this. So let's try that. And because this is, is a directional one, we kind of want to make it so. Actually, do I want some green over here? No. But, no, I think I'm just going to use the red. Just the red bow over here. Yeah, I I put it on there and said, well, see what it looks like. The snowshoes are the big part of the wreath because they are the major expense in the wreath. So you kind of don't want to cover them up. Now, with this going this way, we can add our bow and make our bow direction go in the direction we want it to now because that one tail on there is upside down so there we go that's why I kept saying I'll try it but it needs some color right here so by adding this, and this looks like a vintage sweater fabric. Yeah. All right, Susan, thank you. I'll post the uh, birch fabric and I'll post the sign along with the, um, the garden flag. It turned out spectacular. There, now all my colors go in the same direction, I mean pattern. So we're going to cut this. Remember I've told you this, we take our wire out. And then we fold our ribbon in three running out of room here. Let's do it over here so you, those that haven't watched can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is folding it over on itself. Did it again. Burn. Baby burn. There we go. You think just regular red for the bow. Jarnitza says just regular red. All right, we're gonna put that there and then I'll get regular red. Actually have a red that has a little bit of glitter on it. All right, we'll try it. We'll do it. We'll see which way you like it. Is that what you meant by clear red? You mean solid red? Okay. I love it when people give me ideas. It's fun. And Z is my color coordinator. <laughs> I love her. So you're saying just a plain red and then add some of this red into the bigger bow to make sure they look like they match. 
All right, we can do that. I'm always open for ideas. Well, I'm out of the wire, so. Start over. They don't, but they are vintage, and when you're in the woods, usually you're wearing sweaters, and that's the kind of sweaters. Come on, don't burn your fingers. But you know me, I'll try it. We could switch it. We could switch this out. We could switch out this green for this, and then add this. We could fix that. I'm open. No, but they are in the mountains where she's going to be snowshoeing. Oh crap, I got a low battery. Let me plug this in real quick. There we go. Close. Before I lose ya. It's kind of the thing you see in the woods. See, I was telling him I have a dead fox on my front lawn. A red fox with a big fluffy tail. It's beautiful. And I feel so sad. All right. So let's take this down through here. See, I was trying to avoid it looking Christmassy with just the plain red, plain green. So when I used the green, I thought I'll use a red pattern. But we can switch it out. How's that, Missy? Do you like that better? I like that it's a smaller bow. It's not covering up. So I'm liking that. I also have some berries we can add in here. that are all frosted and look like they are ice covered or snow covered. Very little was used in the way of picks. So I should be able to get my price for this wreath because of the fact that my money is all in the um the ad of the snowshoes so down here i'm going to put two of these so i've only used one of these picks so there we have that all right now Let's take this apart. Let's use this and let's use the solid red. Okay. Oh, she likes it. 
And anything for my Z. All right, so we want this and this. Yeah. So I want to measure out this to see how much I used of that because I ran them together. Okay, so about right here. Yay. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, pull the green out of here. So, let me see how we can do this now. I think I will put this on the bottom now, and then I will put this on top of that. And boy, that, that red is a really close match to this red, and that's hard to, to do. A lot of times your reds are a lot of different shades. So we're going to put the green next. And then we're going to put the red on top of that. And as always, I think you're right. doesn't want to stay together. And here's the flag to match. So you can have the wreath on your door and the flag outside your door. Pretty, pretty. There we go. Now, are you cold? Make sure my all my things were right. Now where did I put my wire? I lost my wire. There it is. Found it. I love that. You were right. Okay, I will probably talk to you tomorrow. This wire goes through this like butter. There we go. Put this over there. And the handles show. There. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. Trying to tighten the wire there. All right, let's regroup here. Get the green over here. Ooh, the pups are at it. Not those pups, Kayla. puppies are sleeping. It's the adults. Not liking my bow. It's falling short color wise. I think it's the birch ribbon. So I won't hold you guys up any longer. I think I will take it apart and add the green plaid which is a beautiful ribbon, not that green, um, trying to find it, there it is, going to add this and take away the um, birch, the birch is just washing it out too much, so Yep, not liking it. Or I think I like this better. I thought the birch would do well, but I don't like it. I'll use it on a different wreath. Back to square one. Okay, I will post a picture of it. Thank you, Joanne. This next sometimes you have a design in your head and it's not until you put it on paper or put it on the wreath that you realize it's not the way you had thought it would look so sometimes you have to go back to square one. So 
that's what we're doing. there. Okay, third time's the charm. There's my wire. And then I will take a piece of the plain red and make my zip tie cover. this cover our zip tie Put a little hot glue there wire through there. We got room. Well, I thought we had room.
must be Bailey tattling on somebody. One of my females, that's what she does. She barks to tattle on somebody. Here. She's tattling. my tails and we're done. Nope, she's not announcing the mailman. She's tattling on somebody. The mailman's already been here. So is UPS and so is FedEx. So she is tattling on somebody because she knows they're doing something she normally does and she doesn't want to be responsible. She wants me to believe they're the ones doing it. So I know my dogs. I know what they're capable of before they know. I usually know what they're up to. There we go. And that's what she's doing. Okay. I'm liking that a little bit better. All right, what's your final thoughts? There, now it's where I want it. Just glue in the berries and we're done. Tomorrow I'll try to go live around 2 again to do the smaller version of the wreath. Well, smaller version using the um, snowshoes because when you have a more expensive item, you might want to go less on the wreath so you can get your money back out of it. Yeah, I sometimes just have to mess with it until you get the right color combination. And I think Zornitz's idea about that was spot on. And now we've got the colors in that that I like. Of course, my room is a mess.
I love these snowshoes. And like I said, there, there isn't a lot out there for snowshoes. So I think this is a perfect combo. Just a little bit of touch of red there. I think we need some red right there. And like I said, I only use berries that don't fall apart. And these will not. There. Two, four, five, six, seven. You always want to do it in odd numbers. So I got my odd numbers in there. go call the game commission and see if they can get that fox off my property because I'll have coyotes in here tonight then all right there we go I think we're good now because of this being like $35 I'm gonna have to charge quite a bit for this wreath to get my money back out of it but if I were just to use these in uh, arrangement I could definitely get my money back out of it. But for somebody that's looking for a, a nice statement piece, yeah, I'm gonna put that right in there. This would make an awesome statement piece. So, there we go. All right, I thank you, that's done. I will go back in a little while and let everybody know who won. One, two, three. I think it needs that right there, definitely. Sometimes when you're doing a piece like this, you need to just step back and quit adding but sometimes when you step back, you can see the gaps of where it needs something. And I think one more pine cone, because we got two, three, four. So if we put one more pine cone there, then we have our five. Thank you. There, it's done. I love it. Thank you, Z. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out there. And definitely, definitely looks better. can still see the handles here which that helps too I think this is just a little bit shorter there we go there we go Yes, wouldn't that be pretty on a mantle? Yes, perfection. Thanks everybody. 
All right, look for me tomorrow. We'll do another set of these. Um, we have another set. So we're gonna put it down this way and put some styrofoam up here and build just in this area right here, not real big, and then have a, a hand, you know, have a hanger. And that'd be nice on someone's door. All right, you have a great evening. And thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye. Thanks, Elaine, or Louisa.